By the way, never told my London blog would start in Richmond, of all places. I was in my bubble writing about Penge Street Art when this agent texts me to let me know that there is a new Banksy in uh, town. So I'm running there because I don't want to miss it. Here we go! There it is! Let's go! Came back home and wrote an article for the blog. Let me show you because uh, although Banksy uh, hasn't released any statement, he almost never does actually, uh, we know that the mountain gazelle is a Palestine's national animal, so uh, for sure this mural has a political meaning. I'm very happy that I managed to capture it and that I was here as uh, he unveiled this uh, new piece. What a great time to be in London! Today, Banksy brings us to Chelsea, which is yet another neighborhood I never thought would be featured in my London vlogs. And yet, here we are. I can say I'm uh, almost there because I see people lining to take a picture. Hello! Hello again! Okay. How are you? Yeah, yeah. I'm good in you. Woo, look! <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> Can I see? Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Daniel. Okay. Hi, Daniel. I'm Julia. Hi, oh, Julia. <laughs> Just trying to capture the... The moment. <laughs> the moment, yeah. Just the excitement of it when it first appears and before anything happens to it. Do you think something will happen to it? It's quite often it does, yeah, quite often. It's worked One out. day keep it's, it here? But it might get graffiti. They don't normally last more than a day. It, yeah. could, it could get painted over. It could Covered in past specs, you can't photograph it. Yeah. No, if, you, if Banksy goes up, you nearly always have to catch it for 24 hours. Yeah, you've got to be there the first, yeah, first 24 hours. You've got to be there. Somebody upon Julie, and I was super happy to see her again because I haven't seen her in ages. I don't even remember what was the last street art festival we went to together, and it probably was... Uh, seven or eight years ago, so it was super cool to see her again. And now I'm going back home to blog about it. Well, let's just say we were all expecting a new Banksy today, and I'm finishing the revision of the Paris book. Let me show you. It's like this. And it's kind of endless, but I will end it now because I really want to go check the new piece out. Okay, time to go and you are coming with me. Today, Banksy brings us to Brick Lane, which is the hotspot of graffiti and street art in London. There are so many things to check out here in Brick Lane that it took me like more than one hour just to do three blocks. I'm taking notes on everything because I don't do a urban walk here. So yeah, it's raining already. Ciao Daniel. <laughs> Hi, can I see what you did today? Yeah, yeah. I've done this one and I've done another one as well. Who are you recording for? Uh, just myself. Oh, just yeah. I have a street art blog, so... What's it called? It's all Be local, it's travel. Nice. Why do you think we will see each other tomorrow yeah, as well? So. <laughs> and the gap between the train and the platform. And yet one more evening having dinner in front of the... I hope you will like it. 
The Light on Time at 1 p.m. sharp. Banksy reveals his uh, fourth piece. It's a wolf and it's in uh, Peckham. So we must hurry up because it's one hour from here. Let's go. This is my consolation prize for not being able to see a wolf, which was uh, stolen. And I was thinking, since now I have an addiction and I need my daily fix, why don't we go see the old ones? We are in the Kingsbury Park. Well, uh, it's very complicated. Good morning. Today it's uh, Friday, fifth day of our resort. Today someone uh, revealed the location earlier and the location is uh, Walt Amstel, which is the same area where I was uh, yesterday evening to research for the London Urban Works I'm organizing for some readers of my street art blog. Actually, I've already planned to uh, go back to Walt Amstel today because uh, yesterday I couldn't see uh, all the walls I want to put in my itinerary because it started raining, it was windy, and uh, yeah, it was also very late and dark, so I had uh, to call it a day. And I've already planned to go back today, but there is a surprise today. Almost there. I don't know whether it's to do with animals and the environment. It's just more cheeky. That's kind of his vibe, isn't it? So as I said, it was already my plan to come uh, here today because this area is part of uh, one of my urban walks. So now uh, we can go check out some murals. And now I'm going back home because at 7 I have a Zoom call with uh, an artist for the London Street Art book. Uh, looking forward to see what's next. My idea, I mean my wish, <laughs> is that uh, it will announce now a pop-up show, something similar to uh, Dismaland, but who knows, maybe in an abandoned zoo or I don't know. I really hope there is something next. Although even if it ends here, I'm happy with it because what an amazing time to be in London, right? Okay, I'm going home now. I'm super late for the interview, but as soon as I'm done with that, I'll tell you something that I've just found out. I think artists look at cities in different ways. Like I'm always looking at walls and I see thousands of walls like in London that are just so beautiful. Okay. Done the interview, I took a shower, and now I'm ready to play Sherlock Holmes with you. This is what I found out. And you could never reach his head at all. Oh no. All this uh, speculating and, uh, you know, detective uh, activities has been very fun for me. So while I cook, I'm texting with my friend Mark from uh, Oak Blog because uh, I sent him those pictures that I show you and check if maybe he recognized one of the places. I am also uh, texting with uh, Julie, the uh, French girl you saw earlier on in this vlog. I mean, you haven't seen much of her because she didn't want to be on camera, but yeah, my blogger friend who was at the Chelsea Wall. And so we are trying to First of all, to find out where these location are. I'm a food blogger now, so we will talk about what I'm cooking. I'm joking. But it looks good and it smells good. Here is the dinner and here is the blog that you are watching right now in the making. So yeah, one more dinner. <laughs> in front of the laptop working on this vlog. See you tomorrow.
it's 2 a.m. I've just finished to edit the video so far but before going to sleep I just want to share with you that Julie found the location of the giraffe so tomorrow we are going she just posted it in our brand new Bansky Crew WhatsApp group <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good, I'm super excited for this hunt. This way. Okay. But it's this corner for sure if it's here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe it's fake. Let's wave to Julie. But she won't see us. So the giraffe isn't here, but I got the location of the cat or whatever it is, Panther, from the amazing Donna at Graffiti Street. Let's go all the way back to where I came from, <laughs> the other side of London. To our next adventure. Did this uh, daily post, so now we know it's official, the cat is by him. We are like 10 minutes away, we are waiting for the bus, having a coffee meanwhile. Almost there. by day we saw that the common theme was animals so my idea is that it's kind of a yeah rewilding of the city the animals that are taking that uh, city the point is not the meaning behind each one you know it's more like the, the operation the fact that uh, it got us you know chasing what the pieces in the street and we are all having fun in the streets that's kind of one of the leading streets of the world. you take the street back and uh, leave it because of a lot of space there's always some drawing at, mm -hmm. at the wall oh where there's is daniel here. ciao daniel Show me, show me. I haven't seen you yesterday. People didn't realize that it's a Banksy because it doesn't look that uh, yeah, sharp. No, yeah, the edges is like rough. I think the point is not like the technique, you know? Yes. It's more yes. like yes. all these trees around. I mean, it got dozens or maybe hundreds of people going around the city and excited about it. Yeah, so th yeah. it's a great sort of community of people yeah. that are following you. Yeah, I yeah. I see people like you, people are the same people in the only location. Yeah, it's nice. It's kind of... They are such a great gathering spot. Yeah, yeah. And you kind of really feel like there's, a, there's something going on. So I think this is the point, you know, not if it's, uh, yeah. it's a sharp stencil. Yeah. It, there are a lot of great stencil artists, but then... It's not about the work, it's about what is generating. The paper, yeah, yeah. Then yeah, they're just gonna take it down. That's what they're gonna do. <laughs> I mean, no, no, you cannot. <laughs> he said he's going to remove it uh, well. because the only thing is the danger. So far, nothing has been removed, and it looks like these like sportsmen who come down here to have a look at the artwork, they've kind of basically uh, prevented from doing so. People have actually um, let him kind of deface the artwork, uh, so it's of no value to the owner. But I uh, I think people are planning to stay uh, and to make sure that it's not removed. So what's the verdict? Uh, fine right now. Oh, it's Hi, not we just let the gentleman move the ladders. Yeah, we've got clarification that he's got the right to do. We're still an hour and a minute. Yeah. Yeah. He just moved the ladder out. Right. 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 Yeah. We want to take photos, sir. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. It's clear that members of the public don't want this Banksy going anywhere. The police are in attendance and visitors are trying to make sure it remains in place. Peter now uh, has the right to take it down, so yeah, he will do it. Stumbled upon a reader of my newsletter. <laughs> I rely on her map and also newsletter when I am like exploring a new city. <laughs>
While I wait for Banksy to do his uh, usual post at 1 p.m. to reveal what we are all assuming will be the last installation, I came to Acne Week to check out the area and to visit the exhibition of my friend Aida Wild because today is the last day. So guess what? I bumped into Aida Wilde herself on my way to her show, which has been uh, super random and fun. And I love to catch up with her. And then I check out the show. And now I received a message with the new application. So today we have a police boot. I'm here with the user crowd. It's pretty difficult to photograph this one because buses are running just next to us and of course there are a lot of people. Enjoy it? Very much so. <laughs> but it's as much about week. the people you meet along the way. <laughs> Ciao! Hi again! How are, are you? Do you like this one? Yes, it's a bit scary to me because I'm afraid of fish. Really? Especially piranha? So this one is gone too? Or they are just fencing it? Now it's time for lunch. We are still supervising the area. I'm going to Tate Modern to unwind because it has been such a wild week all around the city. And I hope you enjoyed the video, you had fun tagging along with me on this uh, urban safari with uh, Banksy. Don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter and join up this channel for more videos. So, well, you are in the future, so you already know what I'm about to tell you. But uh, as I was having lunch, in front of the computer, editing the video that you are watching now. Banksy unveiled a new animal. So let's do like this. I will close this uh, video now, post it on YouTube in the coming days. And today is Monday, it's a brand new week. So whatever happens from today on, you will find it in another video, episode two. One more reason to subscribe to this channel. So you know when the new video will be out. I finish my salad close this video and let's go hunt a new piece.